So the interesting thing about coffee for me is it has hundreds, literally hundreds of flavor constituents in it. Um, tapping into those flavor constituents can be very tricky. So what we, what we have really focused on doing here is finding the peak period in which we can, those flavor constituents are available. Um, and they oxidize very quickly. So that's a very, there's a very short window for coffee in general. Um, and we, so our, our focus and our, our attempt is to really tap into the, that full breadth of flavors that coffee is capable of producing. Essentially what we do here is we uh, uh, use a profile. So a profile is, is the, the time it takes to roast the coffee, but also the rate at which it's heated. Um, it's pretty common in uh, the roasting community in general to use a profile. It's not so common in the shop roaster um, setting because it's a fairly sophisticated approach to roasting. Uh, so we, any roaster who's got you know, 5, 10, 20 years of experience knows that roasting is an art. But there's also the scientific aspect of it. Uh, we try to balance those two. Uh, and because we have a couple of roast people who roast here, having the profile allows us to, um, to have consistency and also have data that we can go back to at a later time and assess how we're doing. And you get a, a bowl of soup and you put salt in it without ever tasting it. It seems a little crazy to me that people like know how much milk and sugar they want to put in their coffee before they've even tasted it. And the funny thing is that most coffees are actually pretty sweet. I mean, if they're done well, caffeine itself is a very bitter substance. Um, but coffee has a lot of sweeter flavors that sort of balance that out. When it's roasted dark, which is what a lot of places do, um, you roast off those sweet tones. And what you're left with is the, the burnt outside of the bean and you're left with the caffeine and those are very bitter. And so what people do is they compensate by drinking it with milk. Now, milk can save a bad cup of coffee. It can help a good cup of coffee too. But sometimes you don't need any milk or any sugar. 